So that's, that's cool. Great. All right. Well, it's 1102 here. It's 202 wherever you guys are on the East Coast, probably. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Nice, nice to see you, Sam. Um, so yeah, let's jump in. So I'm Marilyn Wilson. I'm the president of RE Technology. And I'm here with our friends from Elevate today who have got, I think, some very, very practical advice about ways to conquer that thing called social media and lead gen, which is scary and overwhelming for most of us. So it's awesome. Um, so we've got Stephanie Alfonso with us and uh, Dylan H Handy or Hart, I can't, Handy, right? Handy, handy. make yep. sure we said it right. Um, you're hardy and handy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and they're going to they're gonna walk us through all kinds of things. You know, one of the things that we've seen as Wave Group and our technology is that social media is becoming a more and more an important way, not only to build your personal brand and to really become an important part of your local community, but also to actually generate leads. People are getting a lot of energy and a lot of business these days. Um, because, you know, the people that you're connected to and trust you and like you are the ones that are most likely to do business with you, right? So um, with that, I'm going to turn it over to the two experts. And um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to throw them into the chat. Um, one of us will either pose it to the, to the group or we'll just answer it offline if it's something that's simple. Um, but please ask us questions because we want you to get absolutely the most you can out of this, okay? And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Stephanie and Dylan. Take it away, guys. Awesome. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you so much, um, guys. Thank you for uh, RE Technology Awake Group. Um, we're just um, thankful to be here with you guys here today. And uh, like Marilyn said, uh, Dylan and I, we're actually part of the educational team here with Elevate. And what he and I normally get to do um, and have done for many years as we travel all over the country to associations, MLS offices, brokerage offices, training agents on uh, the do's and don'ts, tips and tricks, best practices and strategies for dominating uh, your social media, online lead generation, you name it, we teach it. Obviously, we've had to pivot like all of you this past year um, and come to everybody through their computer screens, but it's been a really awesome opportunity to, um, uh, to kind of learn a new way of being able to reach a lot of people, uh, reinforcing exactly what we're teaching you guys to be able to utilize your social media to get in front of as many people as possible um, and to really kind of motivate, inspire, and provide you guys with practical tools to make a difference in your business starting today. So if we do our jobs correctly, that's exactly what we are going to accomplish. But before we dive in, you're going to have to listen to us talk for a while. So let me introduce myself. Uh, officially, I am Stephanie Alfonso. Um, I am a business development consultant with, uh, with Elevate on the educational team. Um, but I am also a Floridian of 25 years. I live in the Tampa Bay area. Uh, I'm originally from Massachusetts. So I'm a New England girl at heart, but I have been in Florida so long uh, that I can't even, you know, anything above se uh, below 70 degrees, I'm out, right? <laughs> so um, I have four daughters, three of which are already in college. One is going into her junior year of high school. So never a dull moment. We're transitioning into being, being parents of adult kids. So that's been exciting. Um, but honestly, uh, my love for teaching, I have been doing for so many years, including while my kids are growing up. Uh, I taught dance, uh, you know, uh, all different types of dance. So, um, you know, definitely something a little bit fun uh, about me and I absolutely love it. So, uh, but Dylan, let me hand it over to you, talk a little bit about you and, um, and then we'll, uh, we'll move forward. Yeah, so my name's Dylan Handy. I am actually originally from the Boston area. So I should really say I'm wicked excited to be here with all of you, um, but I'm actually no longer in Massachusetts. I recently moved to New York City. Um, but equally, like, like Steph said, I've, I was part of the educational team, still am. We travel the country, train ed agents all day long on the do's and don'ts of online etiquette. Um, but I've been involved in the real estate marketing industry for the last 10 years, which is kind of crazy for me to even come to realization that it's been 10 years here. Um, but I've actually been involved in the real estate industry really my whole life. Um, my father, uh, I can remember when I was a little kid, he was involved in real estate. He still is a real estate agent. So from a little kid, I can remember seeing all the aspects and I've seen it change and grow. So really excited to do this presentation here today. Steph, why don't you talk to them a little bit about who we are, our company, what who we represent. 
absolutely, guys. So Elm Street Technology, uh, I'm sure you guys have heard of us, whether it's Inman News or from your uh, respective associations or MLSs. And what we've done over the past several years is we've purchased all of these real estate specific technology companies to really be the leading provider of education in all aspects of real estate business. And so we put all of that together under the umbrella we're proud to call Elevate. So that being said, guys, go stay connected with us on social media. By doing so, you will have access to all kinds of goodies from us, whether it's uh, trainings or classes or videos or articles or uh, just kind of seeing where Dylan and I are off to next. Um, definitely go stay connected with us. We want to keep this education and this motivation going for sure. So um, just a couple housekeeping items. Uh, like Marilyn had uh, said to you guys earlier, let's keep our uh, communication alive and going through that chat box. There's too many of us to be um, have everybody on the screens or raising hands. We're just not gonna be able to capture all of that. So the best way to stay connected, throw those questions in the chat box. We will answer those questions periodically and there's panelists in the back end to do that. Um, and of course, Dylan and I are gonna do a question and answer section um, at the end as well. So we'll definitely get those burning questions. And then also, and this has been the best part of doing these live webinars um, is at any point, now I told you, our goal is to motivate you guys, to inspire you guys, definitely not to stress you out. Um, but if at any time in this webinar, you think, gosh, you know, I need a little bit more help or, you know, want us to take a little bit more of a personal deep dive into what you have going on, type schedule me in the chat box. Our panelists will schedule a time that works for you guys for us to have some one-on-one -on -one time where we can take a look at what you've got going on, what you don't got going on. Uh, you could be at any level of expertise, doesn't matter. We're happy to kind of be there, meet you where you're at, um, see where we can um, help you uh, to really, really maximize your online presence. So at any point, type schedule me and we'll connect with you with myself, Dylan, or a member of our team. Uh, so anything else, Dylan, before we kind of dive right in? No, we've got so much information to go over here today. I want to let you know, uh, take notes, take photos of this, because we've got a lot of information to share in a very short amount of time. Yeah. Um, we're going to try to get everyone's uh, uh, questions answered. If we miss it, you know, we'll, we'll have a question and answer session at the end, as well as if you want that one-on-one -on -one opportunity, you can type in schedule me and, and get that taken care of. But let's go ahead and dive right into the presentation stuff. Yeah, absolutely, guys. So what is something that is so important to remember before we even dive into any of this, guys, is when we're talking about your online presence, lead generation, um, what we're doing to get in front of more home buyers and sellers is we have to remember that the ultimate goal of lead generation is simply this, building your list, building your database, getting as many people into the fold with you as possible, getting the business you can from it, and then increasing referral business, increasing that repeat and referral business. The money is always in the list, right? Your future, um, your future home, your next vacation, your kid's college education, it's all going to come from that list. So you've got to be intentional about growing it. And remember that online leads is a high volume and it's a long-term game. You can't just dabble here and there and then forget it two months later. You've got to be in it to win it. And when you are, you are truly going to build success. So we're going to talk today about how we can start generating leads online through two different forms of traffic, right? Traffic, I always like to equate to leads, right? Traffic to your site, traffic to your business. So we're going to discuss the free ways of doing that or organic means of lead generation through social media through SEO, uh, search engine optimization, how people are able to find you in Google in the search engines. And then we're also going to explore paid uh, forms of lead generation. What are you exactly investing money, investing into to actually capture people online that are raising their hand, looking to buy or sell? So both of them are valuable. We're going to focus a whole lot today on those free or organic side of things. Um, so that's exactly what we're going to kind of focus on in order to you guys have the best online experience possible. Now, let's really dive into um, our social media, right? So uh, just like Marilyn said earlier, social media is, is everything. It's the here, it's the now, it's where business is being done, and it's where you're able to be in front of the most amount of people possible. But I want to ask you guys, how many of you, put your hands on that raise hand button, how many of you have some form of social media? 
Just raise your hands, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, some form of social media. I'd love to see how many of you guys have some form. Are you guys able to put your hand in like the little race? Oh yeah, it's, it's driving up like crazy. We've Woo! got 25, 30, oh, 30, oh. Yeah, you got a lot. <laughs> awesome. I'm sure most of us do, right? Um, but I want you guys to think about this. How many of you guys actually feel like you are utilizing your social media to its fullest potential to grow your business, right? Oftentimes, a lot of those hands start to go down and, and, and it's like, oh gosh, you know, well, that's why I'm here, right? We get that. So I want you to think about what's holding you back. What are some of the things or the weaknesses that are really keeping you from fully engaging? You know, I'll kind of kick us off, you know, time. A lot of us just don't have time. Stuff, I'm busy. Are you kidding me? Just don't have time to be behind my computer. What else, Dylan? What do we see all the time? Consistency, right? Uh, you know, how much is too much? How much is enough? Uh, yeah. Engagement. What, what do I post to get more activity? How do I get more likes, comment, and engagement? Mm hmm Yep, yep, absolutely. We call those the two big C's, right? Um, content, consistency, time. I'm just not really good at it. I hate social media. I mean, you name it. A lot of things are keeping us from this. So we're going to really, really um, hope uh, to uh, kind of alleviate some of those weaknesses and motivate you guys to really feel like you can conquer this beast for sure. So when talking about social media, your online presence, the top seven platforms that agents are just not fully utilizing in their online marketing strategy, come down to their websites, blogs, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram. So the first thing that I'm going to suggest to all of you today is that you are on every single one of these platforms. Every single one of these platforms. I know that's a little overwhelming, certainly time consuming, but guys, it's so important because there's a different demographic on each one of these. There's some overlap for sure, but ultimately you have the opportunity to be in front of a larger, uh, broader, more diverse audience by being on all of these platforms. Now, that being said, I meet agents all the time, Dylan, I know you do too. They're like, oh, I'm on Facebook or I'm on Instagram, but uh, I don't, I'm definitely not on Twitter and LinkedIn. I don't remember my password, right? Um, guys, it's not enough to just be on these platforms. You've got to be active. You've got to be consistent in order for it to really make a difference in your business. So we're going to focus today on how we're going to build that online presence utilizing these platforms and at the same time, building, growing, and enhancing your SEO value. Both work hand in hand together to grow your business. Both are equally as important. So SEO, what is one of the best ways to build your SEO is to, is to actually be a blogger. Blogging is the best way to build your SEO. Dylan, talk to us about this. What's a blog? Now, what is a blog? Well, we all know what a blog is. It's really an online newsletter and it's designed to make you look like an expert in something, right? We see health blogs, cooking blog, fitness blog, a real estate blog, you're an expert in real estate. The other benefit of blogging is content building. Now, I'm sure you guys have all heard this phrase before, content, content, content's king. Well, what does that even mean? Well, anytime you write an article or a blog, it's going to force Google and search engines to go index it analyze it, look at your keywords, increase your activity, and therefore increase your SEO value, your search engine value. In fact, blogging is the number one way to increase that value. Why is that important? Well, we all use Google. We all use search engines. And I can tell you during this pandemic, we've seen an increase of almost triple compared to last year, real estate searches. So you've got to think to yourself, what am I doing to increase my value online to search engines? And blogging is a great source to do that. Now, you might be wondering, where do I get started? Well, there's a lot of options out there. Uh, number one, I'm gonna suggest every agent here confirm whether or not your website has a blog. Most agents here today have a website and most websites already have a blogging feature attached to it already. So before you go anywhere else, take a look at your blog. I'm sorry, your website. Now, if you don't have a website or your website doesn't have a blog, that's okay, there's still some good options you have such as WordPress, blogger.com, Active Rain, which is a great real estate uh, blogging platform. You could even do a Google search of how to start my own blog or even Elevate. We've got a great program we'll show you you can start blogging on. But once you have your blog, what do you blog about? 
Well, probably not going to shock anyone here today, Steph, but as an agent, they're going to blog a lot of real estate info, right? Now, agents said me to, to me, look, I get that, but where do I begin? So my suggestion is always first to listen to your audience. Think about it. You guys get questions all the time from your friends, your family members, potential clients, future clients. Questions like, hey, what can I expect of my closing? What do I need for insurance? What's happening with taxes? Is it a buyer's market or a seller's market right now? You know, listen for these type of questions and blog it. It is what your clients are telling you exactly what they want to know. And good bloggers will always first listen. Now, you can also blog your listing activities. Look, I know you're taking all your listings and you're putting them into MLS, which you should be doing. But when you put them into MLS, they go into a database. And then that database takes your listing and puts it across a million websites at one time. So it actually does nothing for your individual SEO value at all. So instead, what I recommend, take your listings, put them into MLS, but also blog your listing updates. Now Google and search engines will index those key terms like new listing, open house, sold, one, two, three main street, street address, commercial, back on market. All these keywords that are so specific to you are gonna add those real estate rich keywords and build your SEO. You can also do market update reports. You know, uh, keep it hyper local. Think about this, two things you could do. You could either do uh, hyper local, what's going on in your area, town or community. Charity events, fundraisers, community events, especially now as things start to open up, there's more opportunities. What's going on for farmer's market in your area? Um, you know, before you know it, it's gonna be the 4th of July and we're gonna, you know, some places will have fireworks and celebrations, some won't right now. Block that type of information, be that community resource. You don't have to be fixated just on real estate. Right? You can be a community resource. You can also do lifestyle content, you know, better homes and gardens, financial advice, do-it-yourself projects. You know, how about even something as simple as a famous family recipe? You know, Steph, I always joke, but you know, this last year and a half, I've been cooking more in this last year and a half that I've been stuck at home uh, more than I have in my whole life. Yeah. So I'm always looking for these new recipes. So try to add in value-based information. It doesn't have to just be real estate. For sure, guys, utilize your blog as a networking tool. Highlight a business of the month, a restaurant of the week, something like that. Just a great, great way to, to brand you as an expert. And like Dylan said, market updates are huge. Uh, for a target, if you're trying to target sellers and you don't have any listings, blog the town or areas that you specialize in, right? With a call to action. I can check to the values in the area, have lead capture go right to you. A lot of brokerages will provide this for the agents, but that lead capture goes directly to the brokerage. Do it on your own under the umbrella of your business so you can drive those potential sellers directly to you. So all of this that we're talking about, whether it's hyper-local content, real estate information, um, uh, lifestyle, uh, that famous family recipe, um, your listing updates, new listings, sold listings, all of this is so important. But I'll tell you, you've got to be active. You've got to be consistent in order for it to make a difference in your business. We recommend blogging at a minimum of once per week. Any less than that, you can actually be penalized in the search engines. And it doesn't look very professional, right? Google does not want to send users to a dead or an inactive blog. Um, so once per week, um, always have a photo or a video with your blog to increase that engagement and that click rate. As far as length, Three to five paragraphs, totally sufficient. Any more than five paragraphs, people tend to disengage. So keep it right there within that sweet, sweet spot, but always remember to have some form of lead capture. Whether that's a subscribe button, contact me button, sign up form, at the very minimum your information, always make sure there's a way for me to get a hold of you or for you to get a hold of me. Now, Dylan, I know everybody here is like, I'm going to start blogging. This is great. I'm going to blog right within my website, but let's keep it real. How are people really going to find my blog? How can I get the most exposure and the most engagement? So one of the best ways to get more exposure, more engagement is to not just leave your blog residing on your blog. You really want to maximize that exposure by sharing it across all your platforms. And when yeah. I say share it, you're just going to take the URL, www.whateveryourblogis.com, and share it as a post to all your social platforms. So you're gonna share it to your Facebook business page, your, Litter, your Twitter, your LinkedIn, you know, uh, Pinterest, whatever platforms you have online. And that's gonna get several benefits. First, you're gonna help increase that higher SEO value. 
Remember, Stephanie talked about SEO, search engine optimization. You're going to help improve your online orga organic value. Then you're going to want to uh, get the benefit of reaching larger audiences. You know, Steph touched on how there's different demographics on all of these social platforms. By sharing across multiple social platforms, you'll develop a larger audience, which in turn will also help develop some stronger brand recognition, top of mind marketing. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, so important. So don't just leave it on your blog, share it everywhere from your blog to all your socials. So any questions at all, guys, throw it in that chat box. Again, if you would like to learn more, you don't have a blog, you don't know where to start, you need a little more one-on-one -on -one care, totally type schedule me in the chat box. We've got Samantha here with us today. She is going to um, uh, go ahead and schedule that time uh, for you guys one-on-one. -on -one. Those are absolutely free. We just want to be a resource to you guys in any way, shape, or form and help you have the best year yet. Now let's dive into the, what is still the number one platform on the internet today, and that's Facebook. Still, Facebook, number one platform, over 2 billion users with over 70% of users logging in six to 10 times a day and the average time spent between 13 and 20 minutes each visit. And guess what, folks, this was before COVID. Since COVID, Facebook has reported record numbers of usage, guys, and that tells me you've got to be where your audience is, right? Absolutely. Now, we want to focus today on making sure that all of you are utilizing your business page for your real estate business. I know a lot of us have our personal page, maybe we've been using it, but guys, we've got to really pivot and start using that business page first and foremost, You're technically not allowed to do business from a personal page. If you do, I know it sounds silly, you'll get thrown in Facebook jail if they catch on to it. It's a real place, they'll suspend your account. So make sure all business originates from that business page, okay? Super, super important. Great tracking, great analytics, opportunities for boosting and ads, which we'll touch on, build that business page. But just like with blogging, the key to success on your Facebook is consistency, two to three times per week. Two to three times per week. You've got to be consistent, but you've got to be consistent with valuable information, relevant information. What does that look like? Dylan and I look at Facebook pages all day, every day, and we typically see the same type of information on an agent's business page. New listing, new listing, open house, buy with me, sell with me, I love your referrals, I'm the best agent ever, new listing, open house. Yep. Guys, it's only going to be relevant and valuable to me if I'm interested in real estate right now. But the reality is most people on your page are not. Not right now. I hope for your sake someday they will be but they're not right now. How are you going to provide valuable information? In addition to all that business stuff, it's gonna be by providing what we call value set information. Think about what we just talked about with your blog. Think about it, all of those lifestyle articles, that famous family recipe, the top 10 things to do in your town this summer, or five easy steps to organize in your garage, all of that kind of content, guys, is stuff that people are interested, they're reading all the time. So make sure you're nurturing your audience with good, consistent, interesting articles. But here's the deal. A lot of agents get this. Lately, a lot of agents will say to us, oh yes, I post content all the time to my Facebook. As a matter of fact, I even pay a company to post content for me. And we'll say, okay, cool, we'll go to look at it, scroll through their page, and they're not kidding, they're posting great articles. But I look at every single one of those articles and I see where they're from in Min News, Huffington Post, Back at You Media, Keeping Current Models, Forbes.com, Houses.com, Realtor.com, Zillow. If I were to click on any of those articles, guys, where is it going to take me? To them, right? To Zillow. That's the last place you want to send your audience, right? You're building their SEO, driving traffic to their domain, branding them as the expert doing little to nothing for yourself. And guys, big companies like Zillow and Realtor have whole departments. All they do is create good content for agents. It's free. You put it on your page, me, the consumer, I click on it, takes me to Zillow, it might capture me as a lead and then maybe they'll sell me back to you next month in a zip code. It happens all the time. So to avoid this, you've got to make sure that you are posting relevant, valuable content that is self-branded self-branded. What does that look like? Right here on your screen, guys. Check it out. Choosing the right luxury home location on Allison's Facebook page. Where is that article from? I click on it. I'm going to myluxurypalmbeach.com. That's Allison's website. 
I went from Facebook to her website, building her SEO, where I can continue reading, branding her as the expert. As opposed to on the right-hand side, 25 reasons why blue is the best color for your home. I click on that article, where am I going? Countryliving.com, boop, I'm out, doing nothing. So guys, you've gotta make sure everything is self-branded. If you wanna use an article from another source, put it on your blog. Don't put it directly on your Facebook page. Putting it on your blog now, I, it's, it's all of it sourced appropriately. You can do a little commentary. Hey, everyone, check out this article. I thought it was so relevant here in Tampa this summer. Check it out. Then post it to your Facebook page. Now I click on it. I go back to you. The goal here is to create a gated experience to keep everyone under the umbrella of your business. This is a game changer. Consistent self-branded information. Photos, videos, absolutely should be part of your, your social media strategy, guys. I wanna see your face. I wanna see your smile. I wanna see your community. I wanna see the beautiful landscape of the area that you live in. I wanna see the, the cool city vibes in the area you're selling in. Showcase it, use photo and video to do that. Zig Ziglar said it best. People do business with people they like, know, and trust. Photo, video, best way to really engage. Facebook Live, be able to be in front of people and engage with people live time. Yes, it is live, <laughs> okay? As soon as you go live, everyone that follows you will be notified. And I know one of you threw a comment out there about you know not being super comfortable going live, guys, and I get it. I'm an outgoing person, but I still get a little nervous too. Promise you the more you do it, the more you'll feel better about it. No one cares what you look like. They just want to see your winning personality. Open houses, right? 30 minutes before the open house starts, go live. Allow people to interact with you when face-to-face -face interaction is just not available. And I'll tell you guys, this past year, more homes have been sold without people even stepping foot, stepping foot in the property. I can, I can test for that. I actually, it was a rental, but I, uh, I rented a property that I saw through a Facebook live event only. Never mm -hmm. saw it in person which I'm not going to lie, was a little scary showing up with the keys, but it ended up being a really good deal. But, you know, I, I'm a prime example of that, you know, and, yeah. and, and we hear this time and time again. That's how important we learned during this pandemic, how important it is to have an online presence, have that technology to connect with people, even when there's challenges like distance or social distancing. Yeah, absolutely. So all of this, guys, whether we're talking about these blog articles, lifestyle content, photos, videos, Facebook Live, the goal of what we're trying to achieve here is to really, really tap into one of the most powerful tools in your business. And that's top of my marketing. Top of my marketing being that first person that people think of when they're ready to buy or sell. Dylan, if they can crack that code, you guys are going to be very successful. Marketers say that you need to be in front of somebody 25 times before they do business with you. You'd go broke doing that with mailings. But here's the good news. Where are people six to 10 times a day, 13 to 20 minutes each visit? They're on Facebook. Nurture them. Be in front of them. Be a resource. So when I'm ready to buy or sell, you're the name that comes to top of mind. So that's the power of social media. And also you should be getting leads through your social media. If you're not, listen up. One of the best ways to start with lead generation is the way you market your listings. Dylan, share, share with us this awesome info. Yeah, it's so important because how you share your listings can decide if you get benefit from it, if you, if you get the property sold or leads from it. And the best source for lead generation is posting listings. But the challenge is we find most agents post them incorrectly right? How many of you do this probably, right? We, we get all excited. We get a brand new listing. So we post a bunch of pictures up on our Facebook and maybe we write something like, hey, everybody, check out my new listing, 123 Main Street, call me. Well, first of all, I can attest as a millennial, you know, we are certainly not going to call you, right? Well, <laughs> Likely, I'm not millennial, guys. <laughs> oh, you could pass. Come on. So the other thing though, the other thing though is, is, you know, maybe we'll text, but aside from all of that, there's no lead capture. And that's kind of the key, right? If you're just posting images on Facebook, there's not a lead capture opportunity. Um, also, I can't search more properties. If I want to look at what else is on the market, it doesn't build, you know, full listing information. So for many reasons, it's really important you do what's called an optimized Facebook post. Optimize Facebook post. What is that? Sounds scary, doesn't it? Well, don't be too overwhelmed by the name because really all it is, it's a link. 
you just got to post a link to your website, blog, or landing page, any of those three. But here's what it needs to have. That link needs to have some type of lead capture on that landing page, somewhere you can capture a lead and put it into a CRM management tool system. We're going to talk about the importance of CRMs and follow-up systems here at the end. It needs to have full listing sheet. I need to learn entirely about that property and not have to go to another platform to learn about it. Uh, and it needs IDX search capabilities. IDX, the ability to search the MLS, so I can you know, look at more properties. If your home is not necessarily the home I'm looking for, you gotta have more option or opportunity for lead capture. So an example of one you guys can see on the screen, Tracy, she put a title, a photo, a short description, but if I click that, it goes to her website, blog, or landing page with these three characteristics you can see showcased here today. So does everybody see the difference? right? The one with the red X is how most agents are doing it, right? They take a, a short description, a bunch of photos and slap it up there with a prayer and hope they get some business out of it. Whereas the one with that green check, that is that optimized post, right? It, it builds SEO, drives traffic to your website. It has tracking, it has analytics, it, you know, so many multiple benefits. So you guys can see a minor change in how you post can bring you higher results overall. In fact, I'll even take it a step further. Our clients will then take these and then boost it to mm -hmm. their areas, towns, or neighborhoods for a fraction of the cost compared to other marketing and get additional lead generation and benefit. So uh, really, really important here, guys. We're gonna touch on um, you know, boosting here in a second, but before we dive into that, what I wanna touch on is how to gain a following, right? Steph, this is a question we get well, wait a minute, how do I gain a following? How do I get more people to see it? And I'll mention one thing. When you're consistent with quality content, your page will oftentimes grow organically on its own, though you having to put much effort in other than the postings. But Steph, why don't you share with them some additional ways to drive some more traffic and accelerate it even more? Especially guys, a lot of you might be thinking, you know, okay, I'm one of those. I've been using my personal page. I need to get all these followers on my business page, right? So that's step one, get your sphere to follow your business page. They're all on your personal page. As soon as you create your business page, you can invite everyone and anyone from your personal page on over. Next, I want you to create and promote your Facebook handle. Your handle is the at symbol in your page name. Go to settings, create custom handle, create the exact link, the exact address to your business page. Promote it everywhere. Anywhere you have your name, phone number, email, you need to have your Facebook handle, right? More times than not, people are going to connect with you on social media before they'll pick up the phone and call you. So make it easy for me to connect with you. Email signatures, business cards, farming materials, put it on your personal page, invite people to go follow you that way. Super, super important, guys, that you make it easy for me to connect with you via social media. Email marketing, uh, a lot of you have so many contacts in your email database, very few followers on Facebook. Let's bridge that gap. Maybe do an email campaign a couple times a year, incentivizing and motivating and inviting everyone to like and follow your, your Facebook. You're going to be able to more consistently provide quality content and nurturing to your, uh, to your social media, even more so than an email. Uh, whereas email marketing is an important part of nurturing your leads and your past clients you'll be able to do so more consistently through social media. Join Facebook groups. This is an awesome opportunity for you to connect with people like-minded. Maybe I join a Facebook group of local uh, college moms in the area, um, or I can create my own group. Just remember that some groups have limitations on how much you can promote, if at all, your business, but still, Give them quality content. Maybe I post an article about, um, you know, childproofing your home or um, provide content about the top uh, 10 things to do this football season at University of South Florida, whatever it might be, guys, all of these posts are branded to my business. And you're providing quality content to those groups and expanding your sphere. And then, of course, you can share from business to personal. Can't do it the other way around because it must originate on a business page. And then you can certainly share it to your personal page create that traffic and that awareness to your business page. So all of this is to really, really drive your sphere to your business page. Um, and so you want to make sure you do all that. And then honestly, using ads and boosting is going to be one of the best ways for you to be able to get in front of people and um, that you don't know yet. You know, that is going to be really, really valuable to kind of touch on this for us for a little bit, Dylan. 
Yeah, we, we don't get too deep into this just because it's a whole class in itself. But I'll tell you, you know, a good option to reach people outside of your sphere of influence is to utilize Facebook ads and boosting. Both are really effective when done correctly. Now, if they're done incorrectly, it's easy to target all the wrong people. But I can tell you when done correctly, you can target people in your area, your community uh, for a fraction of the cost of other forms of marketing. So like I said, we've got so much other stuff to cover. We don't go too deep into this. A couple of options here for you. Um, if you want to educate yourself a little bit more into Facebook ads, you can actually visit facebook.com forward slash business, and they've redesigned an entire educational series on their website at facebook.com forward slash business. Another option is, is you can always follow uh, Elevate. We actually have a training class called Mastering Facebook Marketing, and we go over a little bit more detail in that. But guys, boosting can be a powerful tool. Facebook ads can be a powerful tool to grow your following and get some more lead generation. So uh, the next slide, let's talk about how, uh, you know, with these types of examples, uh, we, we want you guys to make sure you get all your questions answered. So type them into that chat box if you have any questions. Also, I see most of you have already scheduled those one-on-ones. Uh, if you did request to schedule me, just make sure when you type in schedule me, put your phone number and email so our panelists can get you scheduled for the one-on-one -on -one, uh, webinars. These are great. We've been doing them all you know, month long, helping agents. And it's a good set for us to look at your Facebook, talk about what's working, what's not, and give you some in more individualized tips and tricks to improve it. So ask questions away. And if you want to take advantage of that free one-on-one -on -one session, take advantage of it. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So guys, make sure on your business page, you go to settings to create that, that handle, create custom handle. Um, you have to do it from a laptop. Um, and that's where you would do it through settings and then create a custom handle. Awesome. All right. So it's so, so important, guys, that you are not just utilizing your Facebook page. You want to make sure you're on every platform. Dylan, as the resident millennial, let's talk a little bit about Instagram. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So Instagram, I would say is my personal favorite platform. And I can tell you, uh, although Facebook has been around the longest and, and still one of the most powerful, I say Instagram's right behind it. Uh, Instagram actually is owned by Facebook. Um, and I can tell you what with, with Instagram, Instagram is a photo and video based platform only. Um, so what couple of things that you want to go ahead and do number one, you want to set up a business profile. Okay, this is important because um, business profiles on Instagram, you have a lot more capabilities, a lot more tracking, you can do ads and boosting type campaigns, uh, but also business pages have the ability to drive traffic to a website, landing pages and links. Now, as for posting, you want to be posting your transactional activity. So any new listings, open houses, sold, um, you want to be posting them with images and banners and things like that. Um, you can also do, uh, you know, market report videos or photos are great to post. Um, but really one thing that I wanted to touch on with Instagram that's important, I actually encourage you to use stories. Instagram stories are one of the most powerful tools you can use. And I'll tell you why. An Instagram story is a video or photo that you upload to the story of your day on Instagram. And it only lasts for 24 hours. Now you might be wondering, well, wait a minute, something that lasts for 24 hours, why would I want to invest in that? Well, something that lasts for 24 hours, the benefit here is it actually gets the most engagement. In fact, one in four Instagram stories results in a direct message in your desk, a messenger app on average. So if that's the case, that's a great way to create conversations, start conversations. For example, I know it's a big seller's market right now, Right now, you should be on your Instagram stories talking about how hot of a market it is right now, how many holes, homes sold in your area for what price point, what the uh, home valuation is increase, you know, for your area. And hey, at the end, you could have a poll question. Are you curious to know what your home would be worth in this market? Yes or no. And then you can have your viewers self-identify. Yes, I'd like to know how much my home is worth and you can reach out to them privately. So again, I want to touch on the most important thing for you guys to really start investing in on Instagram is those Instagram stories. Okay. For sure. Dylan, did you tell everybody the stat one out of every four uh, stories results? I did. I did that's mention awesome. that. I didn't yeah. even know that until kind of recently. And I was like, that is, that's awesome. So think about it. You do a, you do an Instagram story every day, every week, you're going to have someone reaching out. So even if, even if it's just you doing your, your, 
realtor life, your real estate life, you know, showcase those aspects. People like to see that, you know, your day-to-day -day aspect and a great tool to do that is stories. Absolutely. Now, LinkedIn, this is my favorite platform. Uh, this is your business network. This is an opportunity for you to connect and build top of mind with business professionals, both outside of your industry and within your industry as well. Um, so uh, what I love about LinkedIn, it does have very high SEO value, meaning okay. if you have a LinkedIn profile, whether you're active on it or not, and believe me, a lot of agents have a LinkedIn. Yeah, what, hello? Uh-oh, we're good? Dylan, are you there? I'm here, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just looked a little bit frozen. All right. So what I was saying was, um, if you are on LinkedIn, but you're not consistently posting to that activity log, it doesn't really matter. It's still going to be one of the first things that comes up when I Google your name. So we've got to make sure we put our best foot forward. Just as active and consistent and professional as you would be on your Facebook business page, you should be just as active on LinkedIn, posting all of those listing updates, those optimized posts, driving traffic to your website, those um, lifestyle content articles, that real estate information, those market updates, utilizing your LinkedIn as another super highway, driving traffic to your website where there's lead capture. So two to three times per week. And also remember guys, it is the number one agent to agent referral platform on the internet. Number one, so yes, I want you to connect with other agents near and far. I'll tell you a quick story. A friend of mine was an agent up in uh, Massachusetts for over 20 years. A couple years ago, she moved to the Tampa Bay area where I live, and she was like busy right away. I was shocked what she was doing, guys. She was connected to so many agents up in New England. So she reached out via LinkedIn. Hey, everyone, if you know anyone that wants to take a look at a condo on St. Pete Beach or Sarasota, I'd love to work with you. Guys, I'm pretty sure you can imagine people from New England where they're moving all the time. Down to Florida, tons of business from this. Utilize this, whether they're in, a, in you know, close to your area, uh, you know, maybe an hour or two away from your area, but your brand is that community expert, you're gonna really see a huge increase in that referral, in that, uh, referral business. So guys, everyone, you're not on LinkedIn, gotta get on it. Everything you're putting on Facebook, put on that LinkedIn as well. Twitter. No exception. Dylan, again, tell us about Twitter. It is the number one demographic, just like Instagram, uh, are those millennials. And I was told one thing that I thought was really awesome is millennials are smart. You know, five years ago when they bought their first home, guess what they know to do now? <laughs> There's also yeah. selling rooms right now too. So talk yeah, about no, you're you're hundred percent right. The biggest demographic on uh, Twitter is millennials. I use Twitter all the time. Um, and why are millennials important to you? Now, you might be saying, oh, well, they're my kids and all these things. But the reason millennials are so important to agents is they're the biggest group of first time home buyers. So last year, in fact, they announced that NARI announced that over 50% of all mortgages applied to came from a millennial. So how do we connect with us? Well, the two best platforms is Twitter and Instagram. The value of Twitter, though, it's extremely high SEO value. So you want to be in there to connect with millennials. Um, so if you guys are not utilizing uh, Twitter, definitely want to utilize that. Let's talk about YouTube, though. Guys, take a guess. I want to see who, own, if you guys can figure this out, take a guess. Who do you think owns this YouTube video or, or owns YouTube? You do, Steph? You? Oh, I wish. I wish I owned it. Yeah. Who do you guys think owns it? It's actually Google. Google owns it. So talk about great SEO value and the importance of videos nowadays with, with uh, social platforms is so important. What types of videos do we see agents do the most? And that is going to be listing virtual tours. So uh, how, you know, whether you create a slideshow video or you pay a photographer with lights, drones, cameras, action, or you just take your smartphone and do a walking tour. What matters to Google is that you add the title and the description. So here's a quick tip for you guys for all your videos. In the title of your listing videos, you should have the street address. Stephanie, don't people Google street addresses all the time? All the time. They're driving by 123 Main Street. They see there's a sign. They're Googling it right away, especially in today's market. Yeah, absolutely. So having that street address uh, right in that title can help it get found organically. Do educational videos. Keep these two to three minutes at most. 
You can even do it based off of your blog post. So if you do a blog on childproofing your home, do a two to three minute, you know, review video of your blog. Hey, everybody, I just did a blog on childproofing your home. Be sure to check out the link in my bio. Here's the three takeaways. And even client testimonials. These are so powerful at your next closing. Ask your client, hey, how was my services with you? Get them on camera with their permission, of course, um, saying, oh, you're the best agent ever. I found my dream home, yada, yada, yada. Then you take that video, upload it to all your social media, tag them with their permission, and now all their friends and family will see. So guys, I can tell you whatever kind of video you create, share it everywhere. Post it to your website, post it to your Facebook, post it to your Twitter, your LinkedIn. The more places you share your video, the more eyes are going to see it and the higher SEO ranking it's going to receive. Absolutely. So all of this that we're talking about, Dylan, such awesome information to be on multiple platforms. But what is the common theme here? We want to be active, consistent. We want to build top of mind and we want to drive traffic back to, you got it, your website. This is the front door to your business, your online fingerprint. But unfortunately, most agents are getting little to no traffic, let alone any business to their website. So we got to change that. So let's look at a few things. First and foremost, guys, with your website, you've got to make sure you can invite people uh, to use your website just like they would Realtor or Zillow on their phone, make it an easy and private search experience where I can get everything I want, all the listings, all the, all the updates, all of the um, information I need with the click of a button, but only ever find you. Make sure you have a CRM in the back end um, where you can uh, kind of have your workflow management. Make sure you have you can upload your database privately where it's protected. No one else has access to it. And of course, make sure your website is an IDX site. After all, the most important thing I need to do is search for properties. But then there's also the portability issue of your website. A lot of times agents have a website, but oftentimes it is broker provided. And whereas most brokerages do provide a website, we don't recommend you rely solely on that website. Well, why is that? Well, think about it. If you were to ever leave that brokerage, what happens to your website? Gone, right? SEO, gone, your content, gone, your branding, gone. You've got to start all over again. And what makes you different? What makes your website competitive? What makes it more dynamic? What makes it stand out? What makes me think it's going to be on page one of Google and not page five compared to everyone else in your office? right? There's nothing different other than your bio and your headshot. The back end is the same as everyone else. So, so important to have your own independent website that goes where you go. Okay. So, so important. But unfortunately, like I said, most agents are, are not getting any traffic or activity because they have a static website, whether it's broker provided or even independent websites. Most real estate websites are static, just sitting in the search engines, getting no traffic or activity, so how do we make it dynamic? How do we make it so that our website is getting consistent traffic activity and SEO? Well, you've got to connect to what is going to bring you traffic activity and SEO. So Dylan, share with us what that, what is that? What have we been talking about here today? Social media, blogging. Yeah, content, social media. So think about this. Uh, so inside your website should be an embedded blog. So, so important. Why? Anytime there's activity to that blog, it's going to force Google and search engines to index your entire website. Looking at your keywords, increasing your activity, increasing your online branding, all important things we've talked about all class. Then you're going to take that blog post or that piece of content and share it to all your social platforms like we discussed earlier. The benefit of this, though, it's going to help uh, drive traffic back to your website. So this is called linking and backlinking, taking one piece of information, putting it under one central location, share it across multiple touch points, always driving me back to that one central location. Guys, this is huge. You know, most agents, they struggle with lead generation on their website because you know why? Most agents' websites are static. Why? The only thing changing on a real estate website is what? Steph, what's changing on a real estate website? Listings. Yes. Problem there, though, is listings are database driven. So it's changing on your website and every other agent in your area's website. So Google avoids it. There's no benefit if everybody else has the same thing. So what Google looks at more is content. Remember, we have talked about this before. Content, content, content's king. And here's the thing. I want you to really see this, too. Not only does this help you build a stronger search engine value, a stronger online value, 
You'd agree with me too, guys. Doesn't this also increase a stronger social media value? Wouldn't you also agree it's building a stronger top of mind marketing brand recognition value, even within your sphere? Something that Stephanie talked about earlier, all ultimately helping drive more traffic, branding and lead generation for your business. That's right, guys. This is an absolute game changer. It really, really is. But guys, this, I want you guys to all get your phones out. Everyone do it. Get your phones out. Get your camera. Take a picture of this slide. You'll thank me later. We'll pose, right, Dylan? Yes. <laughs> On your next listing appointment, guys, I want you to be able to say this. After today's webinar, you are going to be armed and ready to say, here is how I'm going to advertise your listing on my social media. I'm going to feature your property as a feature property on my website, blog about it on my real estate blog, promote it on my Facebook business page, post it to my LinkedIn and my activity feed, tweet about your property on my Twitter. Oh, by the way, I'm going to post a creative video, put it on my YouTube channel, share it to all of my social media. Folks, do you think your clients would appreciate this? You bet. This is what the industry demands now. This is what your clients demand now, right? But if you want to do something that is going to literally make you stand out in a very, very competitive market right now, in a very competitive industry right now, this is it. Our clients call it the moneymaker slide for that reason. Steph, I don't, I don't even like to add to that as well. Not only is this a great way to make you stand out, but it can actually be a great way for you to get more opportunities, right? How they market their properties right now brands you as an agent and can get you more listing opportunities down the road. So yeah. that's why this level of integration, this level of uh, content creation is really crucial. But Steph, we've talked a lot about organic lead generation, social media, search engines, now let's talk a little bit about paid. We did talk a little bit about uh, uh, social media ads like Facebook, uh, but another big source of paid traffic and probably the most powerful source would be search-based marketing, okay? So what's search-based marketing compared to interruption-based marketing? Search-based marketing is paid advertising on search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. So let's say a consumer goes to Google and types in, you know, homes for sale in Boston. I'll just use my area, right? Condos for sale in Boston, uh, rentals for sale in Boston, whatever, right? We, you can pay for those key term searches for you to show right at the top of that uh, search results page and drive traffic to a landing page. Why is that important? Well, unlike Facebook ads, Facebook ads interrupt what I'm doing, whereas search-based marketing, the consumer is actually asking for this information. Yeah. So we see a much higher conversion and a higher quality lead. So Steph, why don't you talk to them about, well, you don't wanna just drive them to your website, right? Cause the challenge there is your website is really geared for branding, awareness and education. Before you drive them to a website, you wanna drive them to a landing page. So talk to them about that. Absolutely guys, you wanna send them to squeeze pages to where I can get more information from them, right? The point of search-based marketing is we wanna capture people who are raising their hands saying, I'm looking for a home in your area or I'm looking to sell my home. So you want to put them through these unbranded, geo-targeted squeeze pages. Search all Tampa Bay homes for sale. Or, um, you know, I want to find out their, their, of course, their contact information, but I want more than that. I want to know, do they own, do they rent, are they pre-qualified, what's their price point, um, what's their time frame. By having that quick call to action and by having putting them through a series of squeeze pages, you're literally getting them to provide you information to make for a much more profitable and much more uh, engaging conversation when you follow up. And of course, ultimately you want all these leads to funnel into your CRM. Here's just an example of some seller um, squeeze pages to capture their street address and their timing and all that good stuff. Uh, automated valuation with seller leads. That's definitely a positive thing to be able to, um, to be able to get. But the key is guys with investing in search-based marketing is going to bring you higher conversions. It's people who are intent-based, um, not just being interrupted on Facebook and those leads go to you and they're proprietary and exclusive to you, which brings me to the differences between, we can't talk about lead generation without talking about the big dogs. I get it. So Dylan, explain to us the differences between these massive portal companies like Zillow and Realtor versus PPC campaigns, especially with Zillow and, uh, P and uh, Google uh, leads convert on average around the same percent, but a lot less expensive for PPC. So talk about that. Well, yeah, I mean, here's the thing, you know, uh, when, when we talk about online marketing, a lot of times I hear agents been burned, they get bad leads, all this kind of stuff. 
So what I really want to highlight is the ability or what you have available to you with these PPC ads, social media ads compared to the big guys, right? So like the big lead gen company, Zillow Realtor.com, they're very competitive. Everybody's trying to get their hand in that bucket. And because it's very competitive, it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. So because it's very expensive, um, the return on investment is not always there. Uh, the other thing is, is it's a diluted lead. A lot of times these companies like Zillow Realtor.com, it's a shared lead. So if you don't get to the lead fast enough, believe it or not, they actually take it away from you, right? There's a time limit and they take it away and give it to another agent. I mean, I've heard nightmare stories of agents like jumping out of the shower, trying to get to their phone, you know, and falling <laughs> all over and things. So uh, you're also using other people's listings. So there's no, no dual agency opportunities and it's only seen by people on that platform. So if you pay for Zillow, but I use realtor.com, you'll never get me as a consumer. Now let's compare it. Uh, first of all, Google and Facebook, search engines and social media, arguably Google and Facebook is the largest audience on the internet. So you're gonna reach everybody. And cause you have the potential to reach everybody, the cost per lead is much lower, okay? It's much more affordable, flexible pricing and the lead goes to you and you only. It's not like Google says, hey, if you don't get to this lead by noon, I'm taking it away and give it to another agent. No, uh, Google gets you a lead, that's your lead. You also have ability to grow your social following as well and develop some branding and top of mind marketing. So I'm not saying good versus bad. I can just tell you, you know, if you guys are serious about online lead generation, then one thing you should really consider for 2021 is definitely Google ads and Facebook ads. Absolutely. And guys, listen, no matter where you're getting your leads, you always have to remember what separates those good agents from those great agents or what are you doing to nurture the leads? If one out of every 50 leads is bound to convert, where are you, what are you doing with those other 49? Lead generation is meant to snowball and bring you future uh, business and of course, increase repeat and referral business. So the two main powerful tools that you should invest in this year would be a CRM, that client relations manager, it's so important that you have a, a workflow management tool that has automatic text response as leads come in. Um, document storage, voice over IP, um, like I said, workflow management system, uh, you know, a, an easy to use uh, platform that has KPIs to keep you on track with your business and of course being able to uh, assess who opened my emails? Who's engaging? Who's not? CRM is so super important. You can't manage what you can't measure, right? And make sure you have your private CRM that nobody has access to those client contact details but you. Email marketing, again, another amazing platform to be able to stay in front of your past and present clients. Birthday cards, emails, seller lead information, buyer lead information, uh, referral-based information, similar content to your blog, newsletters, powerful way to stay on top of your sphere, to be able to nurture them from all ends. And I'm telling you, if you have these two things in place, you're going to convert leads at a much higher rate. Absolutely. So tell me this, guys, wrapping this up, I know we're nearing our hour and we want to definitely be respectful of all of your time, but I have a question for the group. If you guys could tell me one word, I know it's been a lot of information in one hour, but if you had to say one word that you felt was the secret to successful social media and online lead generation, throw it in the chat box. What would you say it was? I'm curious to, none of you are going to guess the word I'm going to say, but you're all probably going to guess a part of it. If you were to say what was one word to define, I love it, consistency, that's not it, but that's one of them. Repetition, yes, multiple platforms, you got it. Uh, participation, you want to engage. I'm going to go with engagement on that. That's part of it. Love it, love it. What else? Anyone want to go take a stab at it? Well, you're all correct, but we're really, I'm going to be a little cheeky with this. It all comes down to leveraging all of the above. Dylan, take it away. Well, so what it comes down is to leverage, okay? The word leverage, meaning, uh, you know, leveraging automated systems and processes, because look, you know, we looked at the top 20% of agents across the country and we found looking at their online marketing, they leverage automated systems and processes so their online marketing is consistent, right? So how it works, you grow your online list, you grow your list by uh, consistently marketing, by leveraging both organic and paid, just what we talked about here today, while engaging your sphere of influence with automated systems and processes to ultimately help you recruit 
increase your repeat and referral business, right? The key is leverage, right? I call it the uh, uh, real estate roller coaster. How many times have we seen this where an agent invests, invests in markets, 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 and they get a bunch of leads and what happens? All of a sudden they get all these beads, leads and their marketing just drops, right? And all of a sudden, oh no, I need leads now. And they then invest. So you see these kind of influx, right? Well, when they're leveraging automated systems and processes, they're able to work smarter, not harder, and ultimately get more benefit out of it, right? The, the, the value comes to consistency, automation, and leverage, okay? So. You got it. so guys, I have a question for you all here today. How many of you agree with this statement in the green? Online social media marketing is essential for real estate business. Do you guys agree with that? How many of you guys agree? You can throw your hands in the raise hand button. I'm going to pretend all of you are like, yes, we agree. <laughs> um, listen, oh, come on. I know more of you than that. Yeah, everyone's hands. Let's throw them up there. I know we've done our job, right? But here's the deal. Listen, we get it. We mentioned to you guys in the beginning, the issue with what's keeping agents from fully engaging with something we know is absolutely crucial comes down to, to, to all of this, to time, Right. Dylan, what else? Why, what's holding everyone back? Right. The efficiency. You know, a lot of agents post here and there, but they actually struggle with uh, being effective in it. They waste more time rather than gain more benefit or the knowledge, right? How many times have we heard an agent tell me, you know, I could sell a house with my eyes closed, but when it comes to a Google ad, that's hard for me, right? And that's okay, right? The knowledge or even how to optimize it. I find agents post here and there, and they really struggle to bring any real value to their uh, business. So, Look, guys, we've given you guys some actionable ways here today on how you can start effectively developing lead generation through social media, SEO development, websites, and, and lead capture. But look, for those of you who need some support, need a little bit more help with your online marketing, and just quite frankly, don't want to do all of it, we want to offer an opportunity here for you guys to learn a little bit about our Elevate platform. So we're gonna uh, focus here today to share with you our all-in-one system that automates, integrates, and maximizes your entire online presence. Everything from the website, the blogging, the social media, social posting, video tours, Google ads, CRM, texting, everything, all in one system, one program, one platform. Absolutely, so. a lot of times what happens guys is agents will go to these classes and they'll be like, all right, I have to get an IDX website that's mine and I have to get blogging done for me and I've got to need, I need a CRM. and guys, I want to keep you from becoming a vendor manager. You know, you spend $50 here, $100 there, $40 there, and you, you end up spending all this money with a bunch of disconnected, disjointed uh, um, uh, platforms not working together. So the solution we created was to be able to take all these core services and put them all together into a well-oiled machine. The first thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to start with building you an IDX website. And you know what? I'm going to go live and show you guys exactly what that looks like. Yes, while, you do, while, you, while you do that, I just want to mention one thing. If you guys would like a one-on-one -on -one demo, we're going to provide you a five-minute demo here, give you highlights. But if you would like a one-on-one -on -one demo with me or Stephanie, all you have to do is type into that chat box, demo, put your phone number and put your email and we'll reach out to you to get you a more one-on-one. -on -one. But Steph, why don't you go through a quick few minute uh, live demo here today? You got it. So first thing we're going to do is build you guys a website. You're going to work with our design team and pick colors and logos and photos and layouts to match the perfect look, feel, and aesthetic for your business. Um, now on your website, again, you're going to be able to have featured properties, which can be your listings, office listings. You can have no listings at all, guys. It's okay. Um, you have the entire MLS at your fingertips. You can separate your listings into luxury or waterfront properties, new construction, condos, however you want that look and feel um, to be. And every single listing on yours, like I said, is going to be branded to you. If I wanted to search for properties on your website, again, I can do it right here on my phone. Uh, your website downloads from the MLS every 15 minutes, 24 hours a day. So I have the most current and up-to-date information. I'm going to be able to search on your website just like I would Realtor or Zillow right here. But I, here's the difference. I'm only ever going to find you, not five other agents calling me every three, you know, every three minutes. So I get to look at the property, see all the photos from the MLS. I can save it to favorites, which we call a millennial safe button because there's little to no commitment. 
And that's going to be input directly into your proprietary CRM system that we are going to build for you. It is private. No one has access to your client contact details but you, but it is integrated to your website and your social media. So if I want to save to favorites, I'm going to be input to your database. You're going to have automatic text response, voice over IP, document store, do you name it? We're going to build it for you. Okay. Now back to our listing. I've got everything I need. I've got full listing sheet. I'm going to put everything on a satellite view, which I'm sure would be really, really valuable in your area. Similar homes. Hey, maybe that's not the one, but this one is, and it's on a corner or sold homes in the area, creating a little more urgency for me, especially in today's market, school and community information. And of course, all of your branding down below. So you're gonna have a beautiful, responsive um, search experience right under the umbrella of your business. So, but here's the thing. Now, of course, on your homepage, guys, you're gonna be able to have all your featured properties. You can have no listings look like, look like a seasoned agent, featured towns, um, all the tools and testimonials and all that stuff. But what makes our websites different? Dylan, share with us what is truly taking our websites and making them dynamic and more valuable in the search engines than any other in the industry. Yeah, compared to any other sites on the industry, what we're really doing is we're making sure yours is active with content creation. So you can see these blogs, uh, these websites have blogs attached to them. So you can see these clients here that Stephanie's showcasing, they're blogging an awful lot here. This agent, Eric, sure has been blogging a lot. Well, believe it or not, he's actually doing none of it. I hate to spoil the, the truth here for you, Eric, but ultimately what we're doing is we're doing the blogging for him. So we have an entire team write blogs all day long, professional bloggers, real estate bloggers, and it's all branded to you. Now you'll never get the same blog, same day, same time as anybody in your area, but we're adding all these keywords, you know, home, construction, loans. If you go to the bottom here, Steph, so they can see, there you go, mortgages, all that. We're adding all those great keywords, building your SEO, building your branding. You do nothing. And you get these weekly articles, real estate news, tips and tricks, financial advice, and you can do what you want with them. You could delete it if you didn't want to talk about mortgages. You could also edit it. So maybe you have a lender that you work with. You could edit this and recommend your, your uh, lender or your, your list of preferred lenders. So you have the ability to edit, delete, and add your own. But we don't stop there. We want to also provide hyper-local content. So what do we do? We blog uh, market update reports with all the data pulled directly from the MLS, median home price, home sold, days on market, and even some seller lead capture opportunities. Remember, anytime I capture a lead, whether it be buyer or seller in our system, we'll set them up on an email campaign, put them into your CRM, and set them up on a texting campaign if we have their phone number. Now, we'll also go ahead and blog for you your transactional activities. So, um, Anytime you have any type of transactional activity, we're gonna go ahead and instantly blog that. Remember, by blogging that, Google indexes this. This is not in that IDX. So you can see we put the title, the description, the keywords again, zip code, area, property type, and some lead capture into your CRM. Again, you're doing none of it. So again, in the title, we put the street address there, hyper-local information, you do nothing. So then we take all that great content and we share it to all your social platforms, okay? Remember, this is gonna maximize your click rate and your SEO. So Steph, talk about our social platforms here. That's right, guys. Whatever social media you don't have, don't worry about it. We'll build it for you. Whatever you do have, we're gonna give it a facelift. We're gonna do a branding package across your entire, entire social media channels, have the same look and feel and professionalism. And then, we're going to make you look like a social media rock star. You notice Allison here, again, guys, hate to spoil it for you, Allison, but she does nothing, nothing. We do it all for her, but everything is branded to her. Everything I click on is going to drive traffic from social media world and to her website where there's lead capture, turning her social media from a toy into a powerful tool to bring organic leads into her system. Um, guys, everything you see here, we're creating on her behalf. Again, all these lifestyle articles, building her SEO, branding her as the expert in her field. She does absolutely nothing. And we're gonna do it on every single one of your platforms. LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, all of the stuff you see here that's like her own pictures, all she did was put it on her blog we automatically shared it to all of her social media. We're gonna do the same thing for you, including your YouTube channel. So if you guys are not on YouTube, we're gonna build out a YouTube channel for you, create virtual tours Hi, for every single Hall. one of your listings. 
and we're going to create those virtual tours on your behalf. Oops, sorry, guys, my computer on the spell. And we're going to go and share it to I all of your social you, media platforms. I am or, I'm sorry, to your YouTube channel. Let me skip this. Things. There we go. This is a live show, people. All right, so um, we're going to stitch photos together, lay them over some music. I'll turn that off so I don't have to compete with it. We're going to put all of everything we need in here, the address in the, in the title, keywords, and then link it right back over to your website where there's lead capture. So if I'm driving by 123 Main Street and I Google that street address, we're going to send that traffic directly to you to your website where there's lead capture. But guys, everything from building, designing, and hosting your website by integrating that blog for the SEO and all that content generation, capturing all the leads that are driven into your CRM system. Um, we're gonna link everything all together so that everything can run, run like a well-oiled machine. And on top of that, guys, you have a full-blown email marketing system that's going to come with your platform. With that direct-to-consumer through text and email, you can have thousands of templates that you can choose from for, um, you know, birthdays, anniversaries, seller leads, buyer leads, past clients, you name it, newsletters. We're going to put it all inside of your back end, train you how to use it so you can make sure you're not only doing your best job to obtain leads, but also to nurture them as well. So our platform here, guys, for those of you who are like, oh my gosh, this is the solution I've been looking for, is called our DMS, our Digital Marketing Solution, where we take care of everything we've been talking about here today, build it out specifically designed for you, and, are, and integrating all of your social media with it. So here's the deal, guys. Um, you guys just sat through an entire hour class with us. We hope you learned a whole lot. But we also want to honor you by giving you guys some exclusive pricing for being on this webinar today. Typically, our platform is a very competitive $2.99 a month. Listen, y'all could not even hire a college student just to do your Facebook for $2.99 a month. Believe me, I have a couple of college students, <laughs> right? But not to mention having a CRM, email marketing, a website, the design, the hosting, the, the um, CMA wizard, I mean, and on and on. We're going to give it you, to you guys for an incredibly low price, locked in at $200 a month only. Yes, you heard that right. So if you guys are interested in getting all of this done for you, maximizing your time and allowing us to create that foundation for your business to start generating leads organically, type DMS in the chat box. Here's how this is going to work. Dylan and I are going to help you. Steph, one thing I just want to mention, when you type in DMS, just we'll have to add this, make sure you add your phone number and email, just because a couple of people have been putting demo and didn't put contact. So oh, in order cool. for us to reach out, we do need the contact info. Sorry. Yeah, so type DMS, give us your phone number and email. We're going to reach out to you guys and lock you guys into these prices today. All right. So, but listen, there's more. If you guys are like, listen, wait a minute. You guys told us about lead generation on Google. That's what I want to hear about. On top of your DMS platform, we have options for you guys for that direct targeting, capturing those people who are raising their hand saying they're looking to sell their home in the next few months. We're going to capture them or for buyers. Listen, this bubble is about to burst. You guys all know that. It's a really great time to be capturing buyers, getting them to start building that relationship. So when it happens, we've got, we've got a parade of buyers ready to pounce, okay? Um, we're going to capture them for you. We're going to do advanced lead generation through paid advertising on Google, targeting those consumers. We're going to put them through those squeeze pages like we talked about to get as much information from them as possible. And then we're going to send that lead directly to you and only you. So um, listen, that means that these leads are exclusive. So oh, here's a quick example, guys, a screenshot of what uh, leads look like as they come in. We put them through that smart path system. Again, the more information we can get you, the better. Um, and like I said, these are exclusive. So here's Wonderful. what that means. Oh, go ahead, one thing I one thing I just want to add, I just want to make sure it was clear in the description. Guys, we do both buyer and seller. This is important because there's a lot of companies that do, don't do seller. It is definitely a seller's market right now. And if you are looking for sellers, right, you're like, I don't want another buyer, please. Uh, we have a seller program as well. So we, unlike a lot of companies, we do buyer and seller. So Steph, why don't you talk about our lead gen stats here? Yeah, absolutely, guys. So remember, like I told you, as people are raising their hands saying, I'm looking to sell my home here in the next few months, we're capturing them. Um, so just a couple of thing, uh, things about Google leads, which I think are really important, guys, are click-to-lead opt-in rates over 20%. It's 
absolutely unheard of. It's two to three times the capture rate as our competitors. And that is because of that smart path system that we're putting them through, which means for you, more leads for less money. That's the beautiful beauty of Google leads. 100% are going to have proper email information, which means more connections. Over 63% have email and phone number. Again, they're providing you the information and 74% are gonna provide that supplemental lead data. So really, really great opportunity. If you guys have been burned in the past or really leery, um, I encourage you guys to really, really give it a go, at least for the next six months, while it is such a crazy market right now. There's, there's been a 46% increase in Google leads um, over the past uh, year and a half. So definitely it's the time to take advantage of it. Now we have several options for you guys. Now, our lead generation programs are on top of the DMS. We've still got to have the system, the process, and the organic lead generation, and then we're gonna accelerate that lead conversion process by purchasing leads on your behalf. Our DMS plus is our DMS plus five to 10 leads per month, exclusive and guaranteed for you and you alone. Our buyer program for five to 10 buyer leads total, we are discounting from $500 a month to only $300 a month. That's it. That's not on top of the $200, that's total. Okay, our seller lead program, again, this is, guys, this is first come first serve. People have been wanting seller leads like it's going out of business, right? Um, seller leads, $400 a month total um, for five to 10 seller leads exclusive to you every single month. Now here's where the big savings are coming in, guys. If you are truly looking to take your business from here to here, we have some great savings for you for our Elevate Elite lead generation system. This is a whopping 20 to 30 exclusive seller or buyer leads for you every single month. We also can do both. We can talk about that. Our buyer program on top of the DMS, this is including your ad spend, including the system, including a one-on-one -on -one coach. Instead of $1,000 a month, we're doing it for only $750 a month. And you guys ready for this? We're going to do it for everyone here on our webinar today for 50% off your first two months. You heard that right, only $375 your first two months to get you the entire system plus 20 to 30 exclusive buyer leads or seller leads. Our seller program is normally $1,200 a month. You can get it for your first two months for only $375. Yeah, well, I think what's great about that is it's already discounted, right, to the 750, which 750 to get 20 to 30 guaranteed leads per month, that's an incredible savings. But also then you get an additional 50% off uh, for your first two months. Why would, why would we do that? Well, let me tell you, our elite program is the highest renewed program. Obviously, the reason is you're getting more leads, higher lead quantity, the more success you get from the program. So we want to actually do it at cost for you for your first two months. So month one, 375, month two, 375. After you've gotten 40 to 60 leads into your system, it will then go to the 750 price point. Now, with all of these services here today, um, this only comes with a six month commitment. Someone asked earlier, what was the contract? Most companies require a 12 month commitment. Guys here for you, we're only gonna ask for a six month commitment, which is incredible because after that it's a month to month service. We have an incredibly high renewal rate. What was the renewal rate last year, Steph? Oh goodness, as a company it was 86%. Our lead generation was 92%. Yeah, really high. So here's, here's the thing guys. 40% is amazing, okay? Yeah. You guys in the tech world, you know how that goes. Yeah, so if you guys look, I think the real reason for this is it's an all-in-one system. Everything works and integrates into one. Instead of having one vendor for your website, one for your social media, one for your leads, one for your texting, this comes with everything. Automatic texting, automatic emails to your leads, everything in one system. So if you guys are interested in the DMS Plus, type in DMS Plus, your phone number and your email. If you're interested in Elite, type in Elite, your phone number and email. And Stephanie and or I will reach out to you here today. Now, don't worry. It's not a commitment for the phone call. We're going to just going to reach out to you. We want to talk about your business. We want to learn what's going to be the best fit for you. If you are also undecided, don't worry. You don't need to make a decision now. You can type in undecided. All we need is for you to show that you're interested so that we'll reach out to you and put your name on that list so you get those discounts that you joined us here today. So if you have any so interest, if you have... If you have a static website, you struggle with social media, struggle with lead generation, you're looking for better systems, type it in and we'll reach out to you here today.
Yeah, and guys, I know some of you were asking about the $200 option. It is there. It's on. It was just on our my other slide, but I'll pull that up for you guys again. Um, but our system are basically the meat and potatoes of our system. Everything is only $200 a month. The only difference between this platform and the other platforms is how many leads are we're purchasing on your behalf. So again, the $200 pl uh, uh, platform option is there. Type DMS name and email and phone number in the chat box. You will, we will get dibs on that. Those of you who are wanting leads in addition to the platform, um, that's what these prices are as well. So type DMS, type leads, type, hey, Steph, Dylan, call me. <laughs> <laughs> just let us know, uh, mainly because guys, lead generation is a first come first serve. There's a limited amount of lead licenses that are available um, in your area. So if everybody in your market wanted leads, I obviously could not sell them exclusive leads to everybody. So it's first come first serve. We, can, we will happily answer any questions. If you can't talk today, give us a good time to call you later on. We can certainly put you on our calendar to give you guys a call tomorrow if you're not available today. But Dylan and I have blocked off the next couple hours of our day to give our time to you guys, answer questions, um, and get you guys rocking and rolling so that by this time next week, you're all going to be Twitter rock stars, or at least we will be for you anyway. Uh, so let's go ahead and check the chat box, Dylan, for any questions. I know everyone's typing in their information for product, but any questions at all with anything we've gone over today? Um, I know that our panelists have answered them for you. Uh, actually, I have, I have a question for the group, actually, to get them uh, engaging. I know a lot of them are putting products in right now, but um, guys, how, how did you enjoy this class? Did you, did you guys learn a lot today? Just give us some feedback. We always love your feedback here today. Um, but again... Um, it was a real pleasure being here and, and coaching you guys always. Um, oh, someone said great job, great slides. You know, we, we have so much information to share. It's always hard to put in a, a quick hour class, but you know, we really try to condense and provide as much information to give you guys some actionable ways on how to get, make some lead generation from your online marketing. So we really appreciate you yeah, guys so taking this. asking, do we use third-party IDX? So I don't know if you guys are familiar, IDX Broker is part of our company. Um, we do not use a third party. We are exclusive and proprietary. Um, so all of our, our websites are proprietary to, um, to Elevate. Um, so uh, Trinesia, uh, she says, other subscriptions canceled. I, listen, <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time I heard that, the goal of what we're doing is to, con is to consolidate everything for you. And you know what? you're going to save money for it. So that's that's what we love to hear, guys, is, is that you're going to be able to kind of maximize and consolidate your business to make things easier for you. And honestly, so you can get more from it. So uh, love to hear that. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Um, let's yeah, see. It, it, we get a lot of requests for products. Just make sure, though, you put your phone number and email because otherwise... Steph and I can't reach out to you. We don't, we don't have any way to contact you. So if you'd like to talk to me and or Stephanie, just make sure you put in your phone number and email when you request a product. We'll be yeah, happy to answer. Sure. And if you guys are looking for an elite product, especially, make sure we know because they go so, so fast, especially because this is a nationwide webinar. We've got people here from East Coast, West Coast, South, North, everybody, everybody, everywhere. Um, and so definitely make sure we know because we'll call you guys first. Um, I'm undecided but interested in the lead. Absolutely. Take advantage of the discounts. We never do it half off. That's like we're basically meeting your ad spend with our own money. That's yeah. okay. Um, we want to lower that barrier to entry to help you guys be successful. I think that's why we have a high, a high, uh, high renewal rate and no year long contract. That's for the birds. We got you covered. Okay. All right, cool. Well, I just want to make sure we didn't miss anything here. Um, thank you guys. Uh, thank you guys so much. Um, just even for having us, you know, I mean, a round of applause for, for wave group. You guys are awesome. Marilyn, thank you for having us. Uh, Absolutely. Mike, Happy to have you. You guys did a great job. That was really interesting. Good, Thank good. You. Thank you guys so much. Um, so again, go. Um, this is mine and Dylan's direct numbers. You can call us, you can text us, you can email us, you can have us out to dinner if we're close by, um, you know, whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, um, actually, Nancy asked, is it recorded? And I believe, Marilyn, I, I think I saw she mentioned that they're going to upload it to their YouTube channel. So yeah, we'll yeah. actually send it to everybody that registered too. So you'll get a copy of it if you want to share it with some of your colleagues or if you want to watch it again, because there was an awful lot of really good information. Feel free. Yeah, awesome. 
Absolutely. Yeah, guys, thank you so much. Everyone have an awesome day. Make today count. Remember this, what you do today is going to dictate what your business looks like six months from now, right? So go kill it, guys. All right. We'll Thanks, help. guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.